Personalised medicine, sometimes referred to as stratified or precision medicine, is a medical model that aims to tailor uh, diagnostic, treatment and preventative strategies to defined groups of individuals. The strapline for personalised medicine is the right treatment for the right person at the right time and it aims to move away from a one-size-fits-all treatment model to improve diagnostic and treatment outcomes for patients. Technological advances in genomics and bioinformatics make it now possible to diagnose diseases more precisely. So there is an urgent and growing need for scientists with skill sets relevant to personalised medicine. In order to reach the full potential of personalised medicine within our sector, there needs to be a range um, of different skills and expertise. And that really ranges from data analytics, diagnostic and drug development, laboratory skills, and commercial and programme management, all of which are um, implemented in your personalised medicine course here at Ulster University. And I really think it's with this variety of different skills and expertise and a real passion for personalised medicine and improving patient outcomes that we can realise this full potential in this extremely important space. I've had such a positive experience on this course and I've learned more than I thought possible in the last four years. And I think what was key to that were the small class sizes on this course, were people that they know and were people that they want to do well and they genuinely work incredibly hard to make this course as good and as relevant as it can be for our future success. We have a range of basic science, translational and clinical research programmes which address health priorities in the fields of childhood cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, arthritis, Alzheimer's, motor neurone disease and mental health disorders, many of which lie cutting edge data analytics. We work collaboratively to produce high quality research with healthcare professionals, government, patients, charity groups and industry in the life and health sector to produce novel technologies, tests and treatments. Pharmacogenomics or drug gene testing is a good example of how personalised medicine research could really impact upon the local population. We have developed tests which are able to use a patient's personal genetic information to cater the treatments to their need and to adjust the dose or to switch treatments altogether to improve the safety and efficacy of those treatments. Our research contributes to Ulster University being ranked in the top five in the UK in terms of research power and 95% of our research was judged in the most recent REF 2021 research assessment exercise to be internationally excellent or world leading. I wanted to be in that research landscape I also thought that it would be the perfect course for me with a different range of biological and computational skills being put together. So during my degree, I chose to take the optional placement year between second year and final year, and I worked in Almac. I worked in the technical quality department within Almac Pharma Services. They really understood what they were doing and they really helped me to understand the pharmaceutical development process. I firmly believe that that experience really developed me professionally and it's something that has showed me that I'm really passionate about the industry and about the need for pharmaceutical advancements. Because of the research experiences that students have on our programmes, many of them decide to pursue additional qualifications and in master's and PhD level as they're driven to sort of add to the critical mass of knowledge and personalised medicine. My degree in personalised medicine um, gave me a really good understanding of how disease affects the body and different treatments available for diseases, but also more for my current role, it gave me a good understanding of next generation sequencing, so that when I was actually having to implement these technologies in my lab and learn the processes, it made it really easy to understand. I think the key skills of understanding kind of personalised medicine is, um, you know, really getting to grips with the individual rather than thinking about a person or a patient as a population. And we know in reality that people are very different. You know, we're, we all have different biology, we all have different genetics, so we can respond to an environmental stimulus very differently. That might cause some people harm and others not. So I think the challenge is going forward is to kind of understand that personalised medicine is core to the development of medicine for the future, core to the treatment that I give to my patients. 
so that we can individualise any treatments that we give to patients so that we can maximise the benefit of treatments and minimise the harm from treatments as well. I haven't completed the personalised medicine course. I don't know if I'd have ever realised how much I enjoy and want to pursue research. I hope to go into research in the future, hopefully in the area of neurodegeneration. I want to research to get involved with cancer therapeutic and new diagnostic tools and hopefully bring these skills back into industry once I finish my PhD.